This is the River Hawk Report for Thursday, December 3rd, 2009. A tough night for UMass Lowell basketball, but there are some positives from other corners of the athletic department. We will start on the hardwood. The River Hawk basketball teams, both men and women, at Bentley. This could not have been fun. Neither team won, neither game was close. The women first. The River Hawks were beaten. Their four-game winning streak came to an abrupt end. The margin was 20 points. The final was 79-59. Janae Bushner led River Hawks scoring with a career-high 20. One freshman, Bianca Simmons, added nine. The Riverhawks are now four and two. They will be back in action Saturday when they host St. Anselm. UMass Lowell men's basketball struggled as well. Bentley is ranked 10th in the country, and they strutted their stuff. 81-56 was the final. The Riverhawks were on the wrong end. Ali Kanan had 12 points. Kyle Keola added 10. The Riverhawks are now four and two. They host St. Anselm on Saturday afternoon. There is positive news. UMass Lowell Cross Country Track and Field Coach Gary Gardner was named the Northeast 10 Conference Men's Cross Country Coach of the Year. For Gardner, it is the second major award this fall. It is the fourth straight year and sixth time overall that he has grabbed the honor. It's certainly nice to be recognized for what you do. And all coaches and all good coaches certainly have have egos. I think without it, you're probably not not a very good coach. So it's nice nice to be recognized. And then you just kind of put it aside and, and, you know, I mean, we open up into a track this weekend. And Gardner is quick to say he does not view the award as an individual honor. You know, anytime you win an award like that, it's it's definitely a team award. And not just the team that we have, you know, the runners, but also the rest of the coaching staff, you know, are a big part of everything that goes on too. When you have, you know, 80 or 90 athletes, it's it's not a one-man show by, by any stretch of the imagination. UMass Lowell Men's Cross Country won the NCAA East Region Championship and also captured the New England Championship, the only non-Division one sport to do that in the event's 91-year history. Gardner says it is about expectations, both the expectations of the coaches and the athletes. Uh, I think a little of it are just the expectations that the kids have. They have the expectations of the teams have been good in the past, we're going to be good again. And I think that's happened at, at a lot of our meets. You know, we've won three out of the last four New England championships. We've won nine out of the last ten or eight out of the last ten, you know, regional championships. And I think it's the new kids just step in and the expectations are that this is what you do. You know, once you get the ball rolling down the hill like that, it's easy to keep the ball rolling. In. Gardner was earlier named the East Region Coach of the Year by the U.S. Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association. The indoor track and field season, by the way, opens this Saturday at the Husky Winter Carnival at Northeastern. And a quick note, well, maybe not so quick. Bring your old cell phones to the UMass Lowell Hockey Game. Saturday at the Sangus Arena, the game against UMass Amherst. It is an effort being undertaken by UMass Lowell Athletics and the hockey team. It is called Cell Phones for Soldiers. Cell Phones for Soldiers is a foundation that collects old old cell phones. So you recycle your old cell phone. And they work with a company called Recellular. And Recellular pays them for the old phones. Cell Phones for Soldiers takes the money and buys prepaid calling cards cards for soldiers uh, overseas. That is senior defenseman Barry Goers. He's the fellow spearheading the effort. Our soldiers, uh, troops overseas have done uh, you know so much for us especially looking back all the way to September 11th and uh, past wars you know they sacrificed so much for us Bob you know I figure it's the least we can do for them. The donated cell phones are sold to a company that recycles them and the proceeds are used to purchase calling cards for the troops overseas so that those serving this country can call home. One cell phone translates into about an hour of talking time for a soldier to uh, you know call back. So that hour talking to his family, um, maybe before he has to go on a mission or, or she has to go on a mission, uh, can make a really big difference in that soldier's you know morale uh, while he's over or, or she's over handling some difficult things uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan. Again, the cell phones for soldiers effort will kick off Saturday night. Though donations will be accepted throughout the season, those who donate a cell phone on Saturday will receive a pair of tickets to the UMass Lowell Hockey game against Princeton, scheduled for December 11th. And that's the Riverhawk Report for Thursday, December 3rd, 2009.